Like I announced the other day, Valley Electronics is holding an event on the 30th and 31st of this month, and that is TV shootout. That they, they, they will gather all the top tier TVs for the year and they will compare them against each other. And that is the way they come to the result that, okay, this is the best TV for the year of 2022. I talked about the different models in my last video, or, you know, at least the announcement video, the, the, the models that they will compare. But the, the one I am more or less interested in, the comparison is their 8K comparison because I haven't seen people that compare 8K TVs just yet because 8K is still a new resolution. The TVs are out there um but when i mean out there but there are not many just a bad just a number a few number that are out there and even those few number they, there isn't much comparison because many people can afford to buy it to test and, and and the only people that end up being able to test them are brands brands for instance like value electronics that's hosting the event because when you look at the the cost of for instance the new lg z2 if you come to their website here you see it's about twenty five thousand dollars it is a very very expensive tv very few people will be in the position to afford such amounts to pay for a television and they won't just not only pay for that and still go out to pay for i don't know the samsung qn 900b just to compare the two it, it's not realistic for most people to do so i think that is one of the reasons why this tv shootout is very 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 important because when it happens it helps it helps uh it, it helps uh, we the customers the paying customers to know exactly what we are trying to pay for before you go out there to pay for it to begin with and it i think it's really really important really really important this kind of event helps a lot uh when you see brands that can afford because they are selling brand that that's their job their job is to to pay top dollar buy these tvs and and market it to customers and and and, and i feel it's a good thing because when you have brands like uh value electronics that go out of their way to compare tvs and give you analysis of what you need to know before you pay for a television i think it's really really nice because if you do not know the quality of the television you just cannot go out there and buy it so i'm very intrigued to see how the lg z2 compares against the samsung qn 900b and against the sony xr7 uh, no xr z 9k xr z 9k uh, that that's that's sony's master series 8k mini led tv for the year so that look all these models are very very expensive these are not um, affordable tvs that one can afford easily they are not um, cheap models they're not cheap models uh so if you if you are for instance going out to for the first time to 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 look for a tv you 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 have to save a lot if you want to buy an 8k tv it's just the reality you just cannot afford to buy any average 8k tv right now they, they are ridiculously priced um and they, they they give you the value honestly because anything you're looking for you will have it on an 8k tv from the latest hdmi 2.1 to the fact that they can support dolby vision and even the latest dolby vision iq um they have incredible ai processing that can upscale your lower resolution to a fantastic 8k resolution yes it might not be on level with a, a proper 8k resolution display um and when i mean like a resolution content in general yes it will not be on that level but it certainly will be in the position to be better than the original resolution because if you upscale i don't know 1080p to 8k it's definitely going to look a little bit better than just your regular 1080p on a 1080p television obviously you will see the difference um so 
it's still a very wonderful uh, announcement that I'm expecting to be a big success. Uh, it's in terms of the comparison, I, I think it's going to be a big success for these TVs because once one are able to see the quality of these TVs compared against each other, I think it will make it easy for a buying customer to know exactly what they're paying for before paying for it. Because look, let's face the fact, Valley Electronics to a degree do not profit technically from comparing these TVs because if they tell you the Sony, um, the, for instance, the Sony, the, the, the Sony 8K TV, the XRZ 9K is, is a lot better than, for instance, the QN900B from Samsung. The, the word on the street will be that you have to go for the Sony instead of the Samsung. And in turn, it will make them lose money because you are now going for a TV that, even though it will be slightly more expensive than the Samsung, you, you because of the influence you've gotten, you will be swayed to buy it even with the extra money on top. So it would even make the the selling brand like Rally Electronics lose money by not selling their Samsung model because they've given you that impression that the Sony is better. So uh, it, these are things you have to look at. It, it really is worthwhile to see comparisons. I like seeing comparisons come up. Um, and I think it would be good. I really do think it would be good for the industry to to see more comparisons of the televisions, especially when they are measured properly, um, checked properly, give you every detail that you need to know about the television, ins and outs. It's very important for customers because customers will not be able to have that privilege. It's just not possible. A customer will pay twenty five, twenty twenty thousand dollars for a television to test the television. It's never gonna happen. It's really never gonna happen. So the reality of the situation, these these testing, this comparison shows is the best to help buying customers know exactly what they are paying for before they go out there and uh, pay their top dollar to get it. So look. All the detail for the event will be in the description with all the models that they were going to compare. For instance, they're going to compare the Samsung S95B against the XR A95. A okay, I've made a video for that, talking about how what that comparison will also bring to the table. Uh, but now this one is more or less about the 8K TVs. And I, I think they will, they will be massive. I think they will be massive. They will compare relatively very well so let's see how the the comparisons would be basically for most for most audience that we'll see uh, and and we'll see who comes out on top subscribe to the channel like our content i'll see everybody very much next time